Apropos Ausländer, uh, die nächste Person, I'm um, gonna have to switch to English, hope uh, it's good for you. Um, it's, uh, I hope to pronounce it right, it's uh, Jose Montiel McCann from Zalando. And um, here you are, just come on stage. I wanna see you here. And um, I had a dinner yesterday evening and uh, we had the uh, MD of Germany from Zalando there as well and we talked about the new building you just announced so you're going big with a huge it's campus fun. and uh, he explained um, why that is and uh, it's, it's on it's going to be on okay and it's um, and what the what the really the challenges are in communication uh, with the amount of people you have right now so uh, i think you have quite some 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 challenges here and you're going to talk about marketing in social media age and i i was reading that title and i was like oh Isn't that past? I mean, are we, aren't we past social media? So I'm really looking forward to what you're going to tell us. So, uh, Yeah, I hope I can convince you that we are not past the social media <laughs> age. Uh, hello. Um, so first of all, yes, a disclaimer. Uh, I am going to have to do this in English. I could do it in German, but I imagine that actually like wetting myself on stage would be less embarrassing for you all. So. Uh, if you like, I can close my eyes and anyone that doesn't speak English can just run out the room now. Um, yes, my name is Jose Montiel McCann. I'm from London uh, and I'm working in the social media team at Zalando. We are a global team of 10 specialists um, and we produce all of our content and all of our campaigns and our general strategy and we then delegate that down to our local teams who are responsible for localizing the content and engaging in local discussions on social media. So I myself am actually a history graduate, not marketing. Um, I graduated from Goldsmiths College in London. Uh, I could tell you all about how working in, uh, graduating in humanities sets you up well for working in marketing, but uh, yeah, that's another story, I guess. Uh, I did internships for The Guardian, which is obviously a huge media outlet, um, and Accelerated Intelligence in PR, which is uh, two obviously huge agencies in London, and then I moved to Berlin and started an internship at Zalando, which has now fortunately become my permanent job. Uh, Zalando itself obviously established seven years ago at what I would describe as the early days of the social media revolution. Um, and yeah, I mean, in seven years it's gone from being a small startup that founded by three guys to being one of the biggest private employers in Berlin and Europe's biggest online fashion retailer. So, excuse me. Yes, if you are not on social media, you are not on the internet as a brand. That much is abundantly clear by now. Uh, we spend over half our time on the internet on social media. That's about 2.2 hours a day. Uh, 78% of Europeans with internet connection have a social media uh, account. Um, essentially, it's where we now live our lives. It's where we communicate with our friends, it's where we interact with brands, and it's where we project our best selves. So it's extremely important that as an online brand, Zalando is innovating and inspiring on social media. Cool. So what are the challenges for social media? We have to transform our marketing strategy. It's no longer just about talking to our customers and telling them what our campaign is, what our message is, what we do. We have to talk with them. We have to engage with them and we have to create a dialogue which runs through several, uh, several social media channels. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, we have to, yeah, we have to become a part of our customers' social lives. Yes. We have to become a part of our customers' social lives now. It's not just about being on TV. It's not just about being sitting static in a magazine or 
on a cinema screen. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we now have to talk with our audience and we have to engage with them on every level. <clears throat> so what are the opportunities that social media presents us? Whoops. Uh, it presents us the opportunity to listen to our audience. It presents us the opportunity to see what people are talking about on Twitter, what, uh, what are the trends, what are people interested in, and it enables us to react to that and create a dialogue with our customers. It enables us to create a buzz through huge campaigns which are shared and go viral and which become a sort of a, a real-time, responsive, reactive story on social media. Uh, we are able to inspire and educate our fans um, whether that be through, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I've lost where I am. Yes, inspire and educate our fans through engaging and inspiring content. We can entertain our fans like never before and we can encourage them to share that with their friends and become loyal brand ambassadors. We want to make our customers happy. We want to tell enriching stories uh, that generate long-term brand love and become a part of our customers' social experience. Uh, what's our vision for social media? What are our goals? Well, we want to become the most used, most loved, and most recommended fashion social media content in Europe for Zalando's high-impact core customers. What does that mean? How do we measure that? Well, we want to be reaching our customers on a large level. That's how we measure how well used we are and how well known we are. Uh, we want to inspire likes, hearts, favorites. We want people to love what we're doing and love our content. And most importantly, perhaps, we want people to recommend us. The amazing thing about social media is that it allows our customers to be brand ambassadors on a bigger level than ever before. It's not just a case of, oh, I bought this awesome t-shirt, let me call my friend and tell her about it. Now you share it with the world on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, all of your channels there. Uh, yeah, so basically we want to be a springboard for fashion discussion. It's not just about telling people our campaign, it's about giving the campaign over to the people and allowing them to discuss it and allowing them to create our content. So a great example would be our most recent campaign that we've just launched. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but we just launched a huge collaboration with uh, Calvin Klein called Share Your Sexy. Um, and the idea behind that is that we're not telling you what's sexy. We're not going to tell you that, yeah, Joan Smalls in Calvin Klein underwear is super sexy. We want you to tell us what's sexy. We want you to upload your pictures and share your ideas of what sexy is, whether that is a person or a pizza. We've had both so far, so. <laughs> uh, yes. So, what is the outcome then of our social media strategy? Well. I'm going to tell you specifically about an example which is very close to my heart because I worked on it quite extensively um, and I also think that it's a quintessential example of how Zalando is trying to innovate and using social media as a springboard for a content experience. Uh, style in real life. This is a new prototype that we developed this year on the basis that our customers had several needs and several requests that were coming through across all of our social media communication. Uh, the needs were, from what we saw on our social media commentary, it was that people weren't inspired enough by our content. People see our huge assortment and they don't understand where to start and where to begin and it's also the age-old fashion trope I guess uh, that size zero skinny models are not real people. How do I look in this dress when I'm not a 22 inch waist 17 year old girl? 
Um, yes, so two very substantial challenges there that we had to overcome. Um, and we wanted to offer guidance and inspiration from real people, not models, not fashion influencers, just real people. So the challenge was to create a cross-channel platform uh, and a continuous story to invest in for our customers based on the sort of the social media zenith that is Humans of New York and also uh, Freunde von Freunde, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of already. Um, so the results were this multifaceted style experience which you see before you. We sourced four women who are our, our prototypes, our, uh, our models, so to speak. Um, these are four people who we just knew through friends or friends of friends. And you know you always have that one friend that you think, oh my God, she dresses so well or he dresses so well. I wish I knew how to do that. They make it look so easy. Well, these guys do make it look easy and they're going to...